the Roaring Twenties were years of partying without alcohol, dating without chaperone, the great migration of African Americans to the North, the start of the Jazz Age. The U.S. just came out of the First World War and into a pandemic after being stuck in their homes from February 1918 to April 1920 because of H1N1 influenza A virus, young adults saw as a time to be free. With the introduction of the car as a common household item, this gave way to the new culture of the young generation. This new culture of the young generation was to adopt slang such as bugs, bourgeois, butt meat, and handcuffs. The new age post-war and pandemic free gave freedoms to the young adults with teens going on dates without chaperones, more touching and dancing, and scandalous sex parties. This culture was reinforced to the young adults with the introduction of jazz music, giving the teens something to dance to, as well as giving them the meaning to the culture and the lyrics. Some gave warnings, such as making whoopee, warning men of the trap of marriage, while others gave something to dance to and to have a good time, such as King Porter Stone. The new jazz age also gave big name to some of the greats in jazz, such as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, whose legacies were, went past the 1920s and are still seen today. My name is Joseph Freskin. I hope you enjoy the time we spend together exploring the album Music Influence during the Roaring Twenties over the course of the next seven episodes of the series.